Sambonani Nonke. Hello, everybody. I'm going to tell you a couple of things that you really do want to hear. What does it mean to know who you are? Why does it matter to know who you are? Do you have the confidence to box on the front foot, to play life on the front foot, to be on the front foot going forward, or are you a person who backs off? Do you believe everything you hear? Do you just believe it because somebody said it? Do you interrogate it? Have you been given the education, the tools to run out there and start messing about in that shark tank? Why are you here? What are you doing here? What's your purpose here? What spins your wheels? What God do you worship? How can Africa's debt be erased completely by two human beings? How many of you have met your partner's parents? Why is it if all of a sudden our beautiful young girls are starting to mend straight at nine? They're showing that they are able to perpetuate at nine. What are they putting into their mouths? What are we putting into their mouths that's making this happen? Is your soul for sale? Is there a price on your head? What happens to a man when he lives in a broken country where he's never ever had a job and there's seven people in his family who don't have a job. He feels very, very powerful when she says no and he says yes and she says no and he says yes. He feels almost Christ-like, doesn't he? That's a problem. That's a question we should ask. Difficult questions. Who's the real parent? You? Or the instrument that you bought them? The TikTok thing. Are you high right now? Are you going to be high later? Can we get high together? Do you know what time it is? Do you know that we're in 2021? Do you know in Ethiopia it's a different time? Do you even know that in Ethiopia it's a different month and a different year? Sorry, I forgot to ask you, where do you work? Whose agenda are you pushing? So when you're spinning your tires for that 8 or 10 or 15 hours a day, or when you get home and it's still coming in, whose agenda are you pushing? Who are you actually working for, for that crust of bread? Do we think about it enough? These are the hard questions. There's such a discrepancy in South Africa, especially about the way that we perceive each other's race the way we qualify race, the way when we look at somebody, already the race is always forefront of our mind. We're not seeing people, we're seeing race. She was a very tall, slender Indian woman. Two black guys walked down the road towards me. Now it was a white guy. He, he fucked off very fast in a Mercedes Benz. We need to have a conversation.